there are plenty of books about Golang, like for any other language. And most of them about learning Go, like beginner stuff. And when it comes to that, I'm pretty sure there are a bunch of uh, good ones. But what I read and what I covered is a book called Learning Go, an idiomatic approach, something like that. Uh, I recommend it because I think I think when you learn a language, it is really important to learn uh, the idiomatic approach to solving particular problems and stuff like that, right? Besides these, there are there are books about specific topic within a, within a language, like for example, this one, concurrency go in in Go. But what I think the most useful book, like overall for for any uh, level of experience, is a book called 100 Go Mistakes and How to Avoid Them. If you were programming in Java, uh, like I did before mo uh, moving to Go, you are probably familiar with a book called Effective Java. So this is basically like Effective Java in Go. And if you know, uh, Effective Java is like the book for, for Java programmers. The book is written by an author called Tiva Hersani. I hope I didn't, didn't butcher the name. And which, which at the time of writing the book, I think he was working at Docker. And now he's a senior engineer at Google. I guess having a book in your resume is like good thing, right? The book itself is like full of inform information that is really, really nicely presented. And that is what one of the, one of the good, good things about it, right? It is separated, separated in the, into, into various uh, uh, topics. And within each of those uh, topics, the author mentioned and covered uh, most known mistakes uh, that we as Go, Go programmers uh, did or could do in the future, right? or maybe doing right now. The topics go all the way from, from uh, project organization to, to subjects like goal and concurrency and uh, goal performance and opt optimization. What I like the most is that uh, before going and explaining the mistake itself, uh, the author always gives a really, really good introduction to basic concepts about the subject, right? But when I say really good, I mean like really, really good. Like uh, it is useful for a beginner programmer in general, but also has meat for an for a, a experienced developer. Like, for example, a section, a section about uh, Go concurrency. So this is a hard topic in general. But here the author did an excellent job on explaining like everything from the Go runtime and how Go routines are managed and scheduled all the way to go to go memory model specification itself, right? And if we talk about go memory model, this is like one of the best explanations uh, about the topic. And I covered bunch of bunch of them. And not just that, when you like read about go concurrency in general, you, you will rarely come across about go memory model. Like in this whole book on the topic, right? You will not, for some reason, read about read about go memory go memory model. And here in this book that talks about a bunch of different things, you will you will find really good explanation about the topic. And this just shows you how much there is really good stuff in here. And no, this is not a paid commercial for the book, right? Uh, I simply really like it. It helped me a lot uh, when learning the language and like when. When, when when programming uh, in Go like on on daily basis, it is actually usually on my desk like like a reference when I stumble upon something I don't know. I simply highly recommend it, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it as well. Like always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I really hope you liked it, and if you did, maybe give me a thumbs up, and maybe consider subscribing. Why not, right? So you don't miss the next video. And until then, bye bye.